Welcome back. Today we're looking at oddly terrifying things. Terrifying, but oddly. Although a lot of the times I find when looking at things that are oddly terrifying, they end up being more actually terrifying. I think the oddly tends to get lost here. You'll see what I mean. Fish. Land fish. That fish is on its legs. On land. This is how it begins. This is what I've been telling you guys for years. We got a land fish. How long till a land shark? Land octopus. I've seen this next one, this parasite living inside of a praying mantis. You know what, I don't, I'm not gonna make you guys watch that one actually. I saw that one already. I wish I didn't see it. Three super long tentacle, like worms come out of it that are like t three times as long as its body. And it's disgusting looking, absolutely terrifying. Not oddly terrifying, there's nothing oddly terrifying about that. Like, oh, I'm so quirky, I'm terrified by a giant parasite living inside of me. That's so silly. One of the most frightening things I've ever heard is when someone pointed out that the existence of the uncanny valley implies that at some point there was an evolutionary reason to be afraid of something that looked human but wasn't. I don't know if it necessarily implies that exact thing, but it's, uh, that is a creepy thought. Feeding time at an eel farm. Oh, 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 oh my god, dude. That's enough. Couple of questions, though. Why is there an eel farm? And second of all, what are you feeding them? It just looked like blocks of, like, mud or, like, poo, you know? How is that nutritious? You're feeding them dirt. Maybe they ate dirt, I don't know. Instead of carving the jack-o'-lantern myself this year, I poked a bunch of small holes in a pumpkin and stuffed the holes with peanut butter. Then I let squirrels go at it for two days. The result is something truly disturbing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that falls into oddly terrifying, where it's not like really terrifying, it's just kind of like, yeah, that's kind of, kind of creepy. Ever find a dead body? Yeah, that's not the right choice of words. Woman in a bar dodges getting kissed by OJ. That's when she realized she should not be celebrating him being out. Oh, I've seen this one. They're wearing masks, like face masks of Prince Harry and what's her name? Super creepy, because the mask looks really good, but just there's no movement. This isn't a Halloween haunted house. It's part of a factory my brother works in. Even if it was a haunted house, that's some A-plus decor. What do they make here? Is this a nightmare factory? Honestly, kind of sick, though. It feels like you're walking through, like, a Gears of War level or, like, I don't know, Dark Souls or something. Can you imagine walking through a tunnel of chains? Lightning hitting a vehicle. Jeez. There's a bunch of people in the car, too. Bro, here comes the entire town. The people coming out of nowhere is almost the more terrifying part. You could use that footage for, like, a zombie film. Dang, dude, car getting struck by lightning just driving down the road. You know, it's a shocking experience. I like that. The title is Lightning Hitting Vehicle in Turkish. It was like, Marhaba. How hammerhead toes are repaired. No, thank you. Woke up with four random tiny cuts on my finger. Eh, I feel like there's probably... A reasonable explanation even if you can't remember what it was or just a tiny uh, Freddy Krueger I looked at this one for a little while before I decided to show it because I was like there could be something kind of morbid going on here but it's like an art thing it's from some choreographer they each have one foot in a hole in the wall and I don't know I guess this guy laying on the ground is part of this the set but they're it looks like they're just floating against the walls gives a very eerie look and feel to it that's for sure Oddly terrifying, I would say. I face swapped my four month old baby onto Ronnie Coleman. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, jeez. Created a monster. Uh, nope. Siren Head. That's actually just sick. That's actually just awesome. Oddly sick. Tiger giving its caretaker the classic feline love bites. Ugh. Even when my cat does this, I'm like, you're not gonna, like, puncture my arm, are you? Like, I got some pretty uh, key, like, arteries in there. You can tell it's the tiger's still probably using a little bit too much pressure. 
even if it's trying to be friendly. He like couldn't yank his arm out if he wanted to. Like it kind of has his arm kind of between the teeth. Best cinema ever. <laughs> Watching Jaws in a pool. Wait, this isn't a pool. This is like a beach. I've seen this picture before, but I don't think I've seen it this big before. I always thought it was like a big like wave pool or something. Dude, this is like open water. Dang. <laughs> I would not, I would not be down for that. A cabbage farm kind of looks like a field of alien pods waiting to hatch. Is that really what they grow like? That is kind of freaky. It's mostly just this extra layer of whatever this brown, like if it all looked green, it'd look pretty normal. It looks more like spider eggs, you know, covered in some sort of like webbing. A full face prosthetic mask allows you to evade CCTV and facial recognition. It looks freaking weird. Hey man, that could be the sci-fi future we get to live in. Clouds? Dude. Make that red, and it looks like when the Oblivion gate opens in, in uh, Oblivion. That's sick. Like, the sky is, like, cracking. A whale skeleton found in the hot dunes of Egypt. This is where tales of dragons and serpents come from, though, you know? Where they're like, oh, well, someone had to come up with the design at some point, so they must have seen it. It's like, they could have just seen a whale skeleton like this and been like, this was a big dragon. Giant squid lured in by a device simulating bioluminescent prey. Ho, 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 you see it? Oh my god. Holy moly. Jeez, the way it, like, it realizes this isn't food and just gone. Dude, when the first tentacle comes in... I guess that's not the tentacle, that's, that's its body, and then it opens up. Unnerving late night roadblock. If this is what I think it is, never stop for these. Yeah, do not stop for this, dude. Don't stop for this. Uh, what's going on? Can I help you with something? Bro, I'm glad he like got out of there fine, but dude, don't stop for that. If it's just a random car with, not even with its hazards on, and two cones in the road, don't stop for that. If it's someone that needs help, they'll have their hazards on, and probably not be blocking the road with cones, because no one coming along is required to help them, right? If you see a car on the side of the road with their hazards on, there's nothing requiring you to stop, right? Because you're putting yourself at risk, just hoping that these people actually could use your help, and have good intentions. Not your job. Middle of the night, just some random guy out in the middle of nowhere blocking the road. Don't stop. Don't even slow down. Just go for it. My daughter's bat morph suit. Yikes. Kids, man, they want the weirdest things. Who made this costume? Koi Pond Cafe. Oh, it's under the floor? Tell me it's under the floor. Dude, there's seriously like six inches of water. Or more. That you, I guess, walk through. I'm sure they give you like boots or something. But that seems stressful for the fish. This is a cat? Cat could beat me up, dude. My school has these things to lock up insane people? What kind of school are you going to? Are you sure it's a school? Did your parents tell you it was a school? Oh no, my kid figured out the baby monitor. <laughs> I think this means you have seven days to live. This visualization of anxiety. No, I don't know if that's a visualization of anxiety, but it gives me anxiety. That's for sure. Children's Playground in Dallas, 1900. Back in my day, we didn't have to make everything so soft and low to the ground so kids couldn't hurt themselves. They actually trusted kids to know how to not hurt themselves. Boomer moment. Although this kid is in the process of falling to his death, so... Oh, he's on a swing. Just kidding. <laughs> it looks like he's just falling. Imagine playing tag on that with like a bunch of gymnasts. Strange Mars sounds recorded by NASA's InSight Lander. I think I've heard these before. The Martians are out here playing their drums. Local shops start a new advert campaign. I mean, it gets attention, that's for sure. <laughs> this email I received this morning after changing my Netflix password. I know this may sound strange, but I have a simple request. I have been with you on your Netflix account for three years in the ghost profile, and I haven't changed any private information or disturbed you since then. So if you can give me one profile, the ghost, 
because I really feel inferior without it. Accept the rejection as this is your account and you are the one who pays. What does that last part mean? Like they accept the rejection? Like they're like, I understand why you rejected me. Salmon at the end of their lifespan. Demon fish. Almost as satisfying as it is terrifying. No, that's just satisfying. What's terrifying about that? Yeah, I don't get what's terrifying about it. Is that like a claustrophobia thing? Reminds me of George of the Jungle. <laughs> I have no good explanation for this. Found three hours into deep forest, 20 feet in the air, and impaled on a tree. Hours away from major roads. This is just a vlog creations prank. It's right up there. What the hell is it doing up there? The more I'm thinking about this, the weirder it gets. Three hours into deep forest, hours from major roads. How far from any roads? That's really the main thing. It says hours away from major roads, three hours into the forest, but like, are there like just dirt roads all the way up to this point? If this is hours away from any roads, if you hiked for three hours into deep forest, then I feel like the only explanation beyond monsters is like it fell out of a plane or something. I don't know why it would be in a plane. You have to think it was dropped in the forest by accident. And they were like, we're not gonna look through endless forest for a truck, just leave it. All right, let's do one more. This inflatable tube man having seizures. <laughs> Poor guy, somebody help him. Did they add the like blinking to the, yeah. <sighs> that wasn't too bad. I think last time we saw a couple things that like kind of stuck with me for a few days. Today, they did a better job of being oddly terrifying instead of just super terrifying. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this, stick around, check out my other videos. I got a bunch of stuff and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. <laughs>